أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين إلى قيام يوم الدين السلام على الحسن وعلى علي بن الحسن وعلى أولاد الحسن وعلى أصحاب الحسن My dear brothers and respected sisters, أعظم الله أجورنا وأجوركم بمصابنا بأبي عبد الله الحسين May Allah increase your reward and our reward for our mourning for Abi Abdullah. May Allah make us from the followers of our Imam who will be the one who will take revenge for the blood that was shed in Karbala. Tonight, my dear brothers and sisters, is known in Farsi and Urdu as Sham Gariban. Tonight is not an easy night for the Ahlul Bayt. As we want to remember some of what happened, you know, one of the historians by the name of Biruni, a Persian scholar from the fourth century Hijra, he says that this Ummah did to Hussein, to the Ahlul Bayt, what no Ummah has ever done to the worst of their people. In every way, they killed him, they left him thirsty, they cut off the heads of his companions and himself, they burned the tents, everything, they crushed the body, everything they could have done, they did to Hussein. As we want to remember some of the calamities that transpired on this night, let us also again, like I said this afternoon, try to shed tears, not just tears of sadness, but also tears of repentance. Tears of, inshallah, resolve that we want to be followers of Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam in our life. And also, I thought it is appropriate that let us not also forget the current struggle, the current Yazid of our time. And that is the struggle that is happening by our dear brothers in Palestine. Definitely, definitely the struggle for Palestine is in accordance with the fiqh that both the Shia and the Sunnis would agree with. This is the beauty of Muslims today. This is the forefront of the battle that Muslims are fighting today that inshallah we want to remember as we are praying for Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam. Sallallahu alayka ya sayyidi ya aba abdullah peace be upon you O Imam Hussein peace be upon you and your blessed family what is the state right now? Let us look at a few different things that are happening on the evening of Ashura in the land of Karbala. First of all, let us go and look at what the enemy did. Let us remember what the enemy did to that blessed body of Hussein. It wasn't enough that they had beheaded Imam al Hussein. It wasn't enough that there were hundreds of hundreds of wounds on his blessed body. After his body had been beheaded, the enemy soldiers came one by one to loot his body. <laughs> one of them, they came, they took his shirt. Another one came, he took the amama of Hussein. Another one came, he took the sandals of Hussein. 
another one came, he took the armor of Hussein. There was one wretched individual, Bajzal, la'natullahi ala Bajzal. Bajzal wanted to take the ring of Hussein. Uh, but in order to take the ring, he had to first cut the finger of Imam al Hussein. Even that wasn't enough. The time came on the evening or at the night time that Umar ibn Sa'd, la'natullahi alayhi, he called out, who is there to volunteer to trample on the body of Hussein? Ten people came forward. The narrators say later, we looked at these ten people. Every one of them was of illegitimate birth. <laughs> these ten people, they come forward and they crush the blessed body of Imam al Hussein. <laughs> Later on, they go proudly and they announce to Umar ibn Sa'd what they have done. They say, نَحْنُ رَضَضْنَ الصَّدْرِ بَعْضَ الظَّهْرِ بِكُلِّ يَعْبُوبٍ شَدِيدَ الْأَسْرِ We did crush the chest and the back. We did crush the chest and the back. Mighty steeds made it like a river track. This is the state of the body of Hussein. What is the state of the family of Hussein on tonight? <laughs> According to one account in Biharul Anwar, the daughter of Imam Hussein Fatima Sukhra is narrating what happened. As the enemy comes, <laughs> you can only imagine the state of the women and the children. All this time, they have had Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, they have had Ali al-Akbar, they have had Imam Hussein to depend on. No matter how difficult things were, they must have felt safe and secure because of the presence of people like Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas around them. But now, Fatima Sukhra is narrating <laughs> what happened on that night. As she was looking at what they were doing, looting the tents, burning the tents, one of the enemy comes on a horse and he is coming and with the back of his spear, he is hitting the women, he is driving the women. They are stealing the jewelry of the women. They are taking the chadar of the women off their back. She thinks that she is safe from him. He is in another area, but then she sees that he is coming at her. She is running away, she is terrified. The time comes that he hits with the back of his spear on her and she falls unconscious. Uh, when she wakes up, her ears are bleeding. Uh, her earrings have been taken. Uh, she sees her aunt standing above her telling her, Qumi, come stand up, Fatima, we have to go. She has one thing to ask her aunt. Oh, my aunt, is there no cloth that you can give me to cover my head? And what does her aunt say? Ya bnat ya binta wa ammatuki misluki. Oh, my dear niece, your aunt is like you. <laughs> On this night, who do the Ahlul Bayt, who do these daughters of Imam al Hussein have to go to? <laughs> It is narrated that Sukaina bint al Hussein found the body of her blessed father. She embraced his body. I don't know how she recognized her body with the state that it was in, but she embraced it and she fell unconscious. <laughs> in her dream, she hears Shi'ati ma in sharibtum rayyad bin tadkuruni. Imam Hussein has a message for his Shia. Oh, my Shia, anytime you drink water, remember me. <laughs> anytime you hear of somebody gharib, somebody shaheed, don't remember me. <laughs> These were the daughters of Hussein, but what about Zainab? <laughs> Salamullahi ala Zainab. <laughs> All this time, Hussein has been the leader of the caravan. All of a sudden, everything is on Zainab. <laughs> Zainab is like Ali, and <laughs> Zainab is like her father Ali. All of a sudden, she is so strong. She is the one going from one mother to one wife, <laughs> comforting, taking care of this, taking care of this camp. <laughs> The narrators narrate that that night they will never forget a scene that they saw. This is the narration. For Wallah, la ansa Zainab. 
the narrator of this account, he says, by Allah, I will never forget the scene that I saw. What scene did you see? I saw Zainab bint Ali mourning her brother Hussein, crying out with a sad voice and a broken heart. Maybe she had come to his body. What is she saying? Ya Muhammad, sallallahu alayka, maliku sama. Oh Muhammad, may the angels send their blessings on you. Hada Husseinun Muramalun Bidima. This is Hussein soaked in his blood. His body parts have been amputated. These are your daughters, O oh Muhammad, who have been taken prisoner. Wa ilallah al mushtaka. The narrator says that such was the scene that everybody who saw Zainab, even from the enemy, everybody was crying. Allah <laughs> <laughs>